diseases of marigold now we'll see the list of important diseases in marigold so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology on amalgam city so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, marigold the first one is the damping off so which is caused by rhizotonia solani leaf spot and blight alternaria septoria and sarcospora these are all the various species uh, which are involved in uh, leaf spot and blight and collar and root rot which is caused by pellicularia filamentosa comma pithium ultima is also one of the species which is involved and flower bud rot which is caused by alternaria dianthi fusarium wilt fusarium oxysporum septoria leaf spot which is caused by septoria tagetacola so now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is damping off so damping off which is caused by rhizoctonia solani normally uh, you know uh, in other crops uh, where we had seen that damping off is caused by pithium species so here in the marigold so the damping off is caused by rhizoctonia solani mostly uh, damping off itself indicates where uh, in a root region or you know uh, uh, especially plumule uh, in before i mean uh, uh, below the soil region we can see the main, mostly we can see the symptoms here we can uh, see brown necrotic spots and uh, griddling of a radical we can see here griddling of radical and you know uh, plumule which causes the pre emergence damping of a pre emergence mortality here in uh, a marigold so coming to the management aspects uh, infected seedlings are pulled out or uh, 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 infected seedlings are taken out and the sterilization of a uh, soil with the formula at the rate of 2% and uh, capped on at the rate of 2 g per liter of water can be recommended so next one is a leaf spot and a blight which is caused by the various species that is alternaria septoria and uh, cercospora so if you see this uh, minute brown or circular you see initially brown color or circular uh, uh i can't say spots like you know uh, uh, uh it's simply like it, it actually look like you know um, you know if you if you uh, place a leaf or sorry not leaf if you place a uh, flower on uh, uh, high temperatures or heavy in heavy summer they look like simply look like a little bit wilting like uh, symptoms light right? is the same the flower look like the same uh, 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 wilting like uh, uh, you know wilting like appearance so uh, but the symptoms are brown color uh, symptoms are majorly appears on uh, a flower and uh, in uh, sorry appears on leaves so later it look like uh, wilting like uh, appearance where it can uh, covers to the uh, where it can covers uh, in, uh, to the all the leaf on further stages so coming to the management aspects uh, spraying fungicides regularly maybe any uh, systemic fungicides you can spray regularly so that can uh, control this disease so coming to the next one collar and root rot which is caused by pellicularia filamentosa and pithium ultimum so rotting of roots so collar or rot so rotting of roots simply we can see here so rotting of collar root especially rotting of collar portion uh, in the nursery stages in later stages what will happen due to the uh, i mean rotting of roots what will happen in later stages the wilting of plants also can be observed so coming to the management aspects soil sterilization and uh, controlling of watering so better to avoid over watering that can uh, control the disease so coming to the next one flower bud rot which is caused by alternaria dianthi so uh, the name itself indicate flower bud rot the flowers or buds can be uh, rotted if you see here flowers or buds are rotted so initially buds are shriveled and turn brown in color we can see here buds are shriveled turn brown in color all the uh, you know uh, buds are turned brown in color and later says what will happen they will uh, dry up so mostly the um, most important symptoms are prominent symptoms that we can observe in mature buds only in mature buds only we can see this symptoms later what will happen they will uh, uh, slowly convert into yellow in color or they will uh, uh, fail to produce or they fail to open so that the flower can't be produced and let us see what will happen they will fall down so coming to the management aspects of spraying dithan m45 uh, and uh, redomil uh, 2.5 liter per uh, uh, hectare can be recommended and the next one is a fusarium wilt which is caused by fusarium oxysporum the name itself indicates which is caused by fusarium species and wilting of plants if you see here completely so completely wilting of plants where the vascular bundles or vascular tissue is completely destroyed by the plants so what will happen due to the conduction of uh, uh, water translocation i mean completely destruction of uh, vascular bundles the water conduction can be completely stopped so if there is no water for plant what will happen the complete the plant will be completely uh, died so especially uh, uh, spore masses also can be observed in if you cut open and if you spore masses also can be observed in especially in stem regions so management aspects of pot uh, sorry uh, plant in potting mixture uh, uh, make sure that the potting uh, potting mixture can be free of uh, uh, pathogens or destroy infected plants if there is any 
So the next one is a septoria leaf spot, which is caused by septoria tagetacola. So here we can see here black oval color spots, right? Black oval color spots can be we can observe here. Black oval color spots or tiny dots, right? Okay, uh, dots can be observed, and this actually uh, represents the uh, uh, you know uh, 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 the production of what we can say that uh, fruiting structures, right? So these are all uh, small spots which represent the fruiting structures. Actually, uh, the first symptoms appear on the lower surface, then it spreads to upper surface. In lower surface, you can see this uh, fungal fruiting structures. We can clear. Absorbed on the upper surface, we can see the oval dots or brown color oval dots. Uh, later turns to black color. Actually, it looks like black color, right? So, coming to the management aspects, uh, uh, better to avoid over irrigation and applying of uh, registered fungicide uh, uh, for the particular crop can be recommended. So, coming to the ARS or net, uh, we may expect the causal organism. So, uh, the causal organisms are remembering causal organisms are more than enough, I think so. This was the book which was published by myself. So I hope uh, this book will be very useful for uh, all graded plant pathologists. So interested students can take a look into it.